Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Teacher Oakley. Welcome to Verbling. And in this hour, we are going to discuss and share opinions about elections. Most of our countries probably have some kind of elections, and I'm very curious to talk to students about it and uh, ask you maybe to describe your election process. Do you elect local officials, like a mayor, the head of a city? Do you elect uh, representatives or senators? Do you elect a president? Do you have a prime minister in your country? Uh, describe your system and also I would like to share opinions about the effectiveness of your electoral process so this could be kind of interesting I'm hoping to learn a lot from students about how elections work in your in your country and how, how do they work actually physically do you go into a small booth and vote do you need to give your fingerprint do you need to sign something when if you're going to vote do you need to register to vote must you vote in a specific place lots of questions actually when it comes to elections in many countries do it completely differently or if you have elections at all are elections meaningful how many parties are there tons of questions actually uh, hi Igor again Hello. Hi, Teacher Oakley again. Again. Hello, Andrew again. Again. Uh, nice to see Hello. you back. Uh, hi, Alberto. How are you today? Hi, Teacher. Hi, guys. Hello. And Roman's with us today again. Good. Hey, yes. Roman. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good. So uh, <laughs> our conversation today, we're going to talk about elections. First, uh, I'd like to start out, you know, uh, listening to you guys <coughs> explain about how do elections work. Um, first of all, uh, do you even have elections? Roman, do you have elections in your country? Yes, I have. Okay, and uh, are you a register? Do you have to register to vote? Mm, uh, no, no, no. Uh, all uh, people who can um, vote in my vote in my in my country uh, receive uh, uh, receive invitation before election, uh, and in this invitation. They uh, can find uh, address and time when uh, they uh, uh, have to come to the um, election uh, territory where is uh, where people can vote. Okay, to the polls, the place yeah. where where you uh, where you go to vote are the election polls or the, just the polls. It, that's very interesting. I've never heard of that method. How old do people have to be? What is the age limit, voting age? Um, I know that uh, mm, I, th I know uh, the youngest age it's uh, start from uh, 18 years. 18. But the o 18. 18. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the oldest I don't know. Well, you, until you die, I, su I assume. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, that's, a, that's a very interesting system, I have to say. You, <laughs> you actually get, in the mail, in the mail you get an invitation to when and where. 
Yes, yes, because in my country, election, it's not very interesting uh, things, and people usually uh, avoid it. And our government uh, even uh, uh, can uh, come to your home if you, uh, mm, if you uh, ill or if you can move. Uh, ah. there and yes, and you can uh, vote uh, at home. Ah, interesting. Okay, but they come to your house. That's very interesting. As an American, and I, I of course, I'm living in the Philippines now. Uh, Americans who are either an invalid, they can't leave the house, or they're out of the country. Even you can uh, place an absentee ballot, and you can still vote. You just mail it in, and you have to you have to sign it, and they check. I don't know, check your signature. I'm not sure, but. You absentee votes. You can vote much earlier than the election. Actually, interestingly enough, that's a very interesting system. Quite different than U.S. In the U.S., you have to register. Again, 18 is the voting age. You have to go fill out some paperwork at a just your local town clerk office, just a, a local government office. It's very simple. It takes like less than five minutes and then you're registered, you're official. Um, from that point, I it depends what I'm voting for. If I'm voting for a local official, I have to go to the local polling place. But I can vote for the president, for example, anywhere in the United States, actually. Interesting. Uh, let, me, uh, let me talk to Juan about... Uh, Juan, in Costa Rica. Uh, describe for me a little bit about how how elections, the polls work in Costa Rica. Uh, okay, well uh, here, um, actually we are starting the the pre electoral year, and okay. um, every every party political party uh, makes uh, their their own uh, election for a candidate. Ah, for the presidential to be the the competitor or, or the mm -hmm. opponent as a, um, for the final elections. So they um, they call it. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a mini election. Yeah, but, in it. Yeah. In the United States or many English-speaking countries, we call those the primaries. So each party decides which person they're going to run in the election, like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Thank you for that. Yes, uh, they they recently did a, a primary 15 days ago. Really? Okay. Uh -huh. And. Uh, uh, well, once once they have that defined, uh, they start making uh, well uh, the all the um, speeches and uh, uh, I know that the correct term is not publicity, but that's how I see it. Um, <laughs> they publicize themselves. They do. Uh, we have. Um, I don't know if it is uh, set in uh, in uh, another uh, Spanish-speaking countries. Uh, it's uh, translated to English literally would be like uh, public uh, public speeches. Mm -hmm. I would have to say the the word, but it's something like that. They go to a, a, an open, known place like a, a park or or. Mm-hmm. Um, Plazolet. exists in English. Yeah, okay. A ta a town Square, maybe. A town Square. Okay. Yeah. And then they give their speeches, their promises, their all their blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, uh, uh. and then on every month of, and this is one of the 
most difficult words for me to to pronounce in English. Uh, the month of February. Okay. <laughs> that that was uh, that was perfect. You know, and when you pronounce February, you don't have to. You can pronounce it February. You don't have to do the. Okay. I, I know it has the weird B R thing, right? Yeah. But you don't have to say February. You can just say February. It's perfectly okay. Uh, thank you for that because <laughs> that's been a big struggle for me. Yeah. Uh, well, don't worry to about know it. how to to pronounce it. And the uh, elections are always. Um, that will be the second, no, third, third week of uh, February. Okay. And um, well, yes, you have like to to be enrolled in a specific uh, list. Right. And we use public schools or high schools. Ah, as they a polling. The, mm -hmm. As a They'll polling the, place. Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. The, the, those are the only official po polling plates. Okay. Also, um, we have like, uh, well, the the term translated through is like a table, like a polling table. Are they polling tables? Uh, I don't know. Any citizen can apply to be a head of that table. To administer during that day. Oh, all right. Uh, the the person and and to guarantee that the, all the security and the protocol. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Is it was well, is a little different. I'm not sure what to call it. Yes. Uh, for for uh, example, let, let, let's. Uh, I'll make the example uh, fast. Uh, one of the rooms of that school. It's. Uh -huh. uh, it's the section that is assigned to me and to other, let's say, hundred uh, persons mm -hmm. of uh, of that list. And there are three persons, e each one um, uh, sitting aside with right. uh, with the paper. How, how do you call it in American English the paper where you? Well, um, before we use the fingerprint. Now there, it's an X only. With, okay. Uh, they use a pencil. Yeah. So they they handle you that paper. Ah, they the ballot. verify that uh, ballot. Ballot. Yeah. Okay. You, Thank you. you vote on the ballot check. Yeah. They handle you the ballot. Uh, mm -hmm. They first verify that it is uh, in the exact condition it was uh, shipped, so there will be no fraud. Mm -hmm. And uh, they check it in front of you. Then you go to the private booth. You make your vote. You have to, like uh, in a letter, uh, how, how do you, uh, flip or fold? Fold. Yeah. Uh, you fold up the the ballot. Yeah. Fold then up. and and then you get out of the voting booth. And with the ballot uh, folded, and in front of those people, you deposit it in the in the box, and then <laughs> you get out of there. <laughs> and then you and get then, out of there. Yeah. Okay. And also, like uh, another, uh, we use uh, we have a national official ID, so you have to present it first. Ah, okay. To that person, and they open at six a.m. And they close at six uh, six a.m. in the morning. Well, of course, six a.m. is in the morning, and uh, yeah. six p.m. they close. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's similar, but actually sounds slightly more careful than the United States. I, I have to <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, yeah. elections in the United States are pretty loose. It seems like fraud would be very easy. <laughs> honestly. In the United States, I just come in and I say my name, and they uh, look for my name, o Oakley Moody. Uh, Oakley Moody, yeah, you're in the list. Check. Here's your here's your ballot. That's it. Nobody even looks at it. They just hand it to you, and then you stuff it in the ballot. Seems like it would be kind of easy. I could say I was anyone. John Smith. Okay, check. And the, the, uh, 
and they don't require an, uh, an ID. No. No. <laughs> no, they don't. Maybe they know you on the face that you are Oakley Moody, but not John Smith. In some because cases, you're in a small, uh, small village, small yeah, countryside some, place. In some cases, that's you're absolutely correct. They wouldn't even ask my name because they know my name. That that's true, and I'm, I've mostly voted in small places. Actually, I was always living in the countryside, never really in the city when it was time to vote. So I don't. I'm sure it's different in the city. Actually, you're probably right about that. I don't know. Maybe it's. I know that it is different in the United States. The United States is a big country. They have electronic voting booths. They have written. Depends where you are, actually. Uh, Igor. Uh, yeah, I have read about that. Uh, sorry for the interruption. It's okay. Maybe, no, it's okay. Maybe if you can. Uh, um, Later in the class, can tell us how how that works because it, I, I will be <laughs> fine. What's that? Electronic? Uh, yes. Uh, the... I, I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I've never done it. I've only done paper ballots before. To be mm. perfectly honest, I, I haven't used one. I've only seen them like on the news. Um, Igor, how how does a how do elections work in Moldova? The same, I think, uh, as in our countries. Uh, one we have election one in four year, year, yeah. How Once every say it? Four Once, years. Once uh, in every four year, yeah. For uh, president and for uh, parliament, no. For president, we do not have uh, election. Sorry, <laughs> uh, because parliament choose president. After we choose parliament, right. they choose uh, president at the moment. Right. They know, right. they changed this. Right, so you have parliamentary um, government, I understand. Yeah, parliamentary, more parliamentary, because uh, from United Europe, um, people from United Europe, uh, they recommended to us this kind of uh, uh, governance, or what is that, this kind of uh, structure of go government, yeah? Yeah, of, yeah that's right. Because uh, they, they said it's the, the most, uh, how can I say, um, for our country is the most, what? fits our country. Appropriate? I... Yeah, it's most appropriate for our country to be in this way. Okay. They uh, recommend it. So we have uh, once in four years and uh, before election we have a lot of campaigns on TV, on internet, on radio and you know uh, mm -hmm. for sure if you live in the countryside wherever you live you know for sure when is the election, uh, or from what time begins, at what time ends, what do you need for this uh, election, what documents yeah. do you need, where do you need to be, what do you need to, they show you in details how you need to yeah. vote, how yeah. you need to put uh, your, where you need to go, so these details. Right. And uh, uh, elections usually, um, I know that in the United States in uh, Monday, Friday, yeah, and, uh, or th right. uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. In the United yeah, Tuesday. presidential elections are always the first Tuesday in November. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. as far as I know, uh, I heard on TV. But um, uh, in our country, usually in uh, Sunday, on Sunday, are held these uh, okay. elections. Sunday. Parliamentary. That's interesting. Um, yeah, because people doesn't work. People do not work uh, on Sunday. Yeah, I'm, it's actually logical. But uh, what? How long is the term for a member of parliament? Four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah, four okay. years they start, and uh, after four years they need to uh, they need to run elections to select another. And then Sunday we go to pools, usually from, I think, 8 a.m. or maybe 7 a.m., not, not earlier than 7 a.m., but I think 8 or 9 a.m., until mm -hmm. 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Okay. So we go there and uh, we, we have near home uh, places where we can vote. And we go there, and they look in a list. They have a list who lives in, in that right. place, on that street, um, right. nearby uh, streets. They look on that list. They fi find you. They look in your uh, ID, yeah? Yeah. 
and they put in your ID that you voted. Uh, ah. Put uh, what stamp? Stamp? Yeah. Oh, what really? is that? Stamp. Okay. Uh, On no your ID. Why? Yeah, anti-fraud because, uh, for example, you couldn't go in another place. For example, uh, you can go in another city, yeah, and vote twice, right. twice, second exactly. time. Exactly. Uh, for example, some kind of fraud you can do. So yeah. they put a stamp in your ID, and it's written that voted date and date. Ah, and uh, someone, if you would see, they know that uh, you voted. Okay. And uh, they give you this uh, ballot, yeah, you said? Yes, ballot, that's right. This shit. And you look, uh, and you go in um, where uh, no one can see you, what is that yeah. place? A voting booth. Yeah, 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 voting booth. And you go there, and you can, and we vote with stamp, with stamp. Not stamp. with, uh, really? yeah, and on that uh, stamp is written, uh, voted, voted. Okay. <laughs> on the, when you put the stamp on the sheet, stamp, it's written voted. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's so you put this stamp, okay. and you go and put this sheet in the... Uh, where wall sheets uh, gathered. What ballot box. Yeah, ballot box. You put there and you go home. Okay. And, uh, and we have here some kind uh, in the village and countryside, what we have that... Um, some c candidates of parliament, they go with money maybe, maybe with uh, food, some kind of food. For example, okay. a packet, and there you can find, uh, for example, ch cereals, some kind of cereals, uh, <laughs> uh, <s> <laughs> some okay. kind of food, and they give it to people to vote for them. Okay, all right. I mean, and this is very illegal because we have, uh, after that scandal, and after that we have, um, uh, so someone go to jail or someone pays a fine, a big fine, and uh, we have, uh, you know, this, uh, um, yeah. when you go to uh, to court, yeah, what is that? Uh, yeah, you're tried. You go on yeah. trial, or you are yeah, tried. They, uh, they go on trial because of it, and after election they speak about one two month uh, on TV about how election was run, uh, what uh, was not okay in that election, and about that, that food uh, they gave food uh, for people. They, you know, they have um, hidden cameras. Really? So, okay. so I mean, some people start to film this activity and they put on internet for example right and uh, so this is uh, yeah. but uh, we ha uh, after election we have usually some laws they introduce member of parliament introduce new laws <laughs> to to stop this kind of fraud okay. fraud after it happens after yeah after, it ha <laughs> after no but uh, after yeah. the fact Okay. Yeah, because uh, no one knows that can be uh, can be this. So after the uh, last election, they introduced a law: if you give to someone food and or something like that, you you go to jail basically. Okay. I don't know how, for how many years, but to they and this recommendation gave us uh, from United Europe because our country want to succeed <laughs> there and they right. listen what recommendation give uh, people from you got it okay that's funny uh, so in the Philippines you always know when it's election time because of all the advertising of course but also uh, I'll give you a very specific example my um, my wife's family they 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 live um, if you have to drive on the road, it takes like 10 kilometers to get to their house. But there's a footbridge you can walk directly across. So you have, in order to get to a bridge, you would have to go way out of your way. Every four years, they rebuild the footbridge, which in the next flood is washed away. So you can always tell it's election time because the candidate, the candidates who are trying to be reelected will rebuild the footbridge. <laughs> it's very funny. Like clockwork. Perfectly.
Uh, yeah, we have here the same. Uh, before the election, they start to yeah. uh, to, yeah. to to uh, not rebuild, but roads to what to yeah. do with bad uh, roads. Resurface to the roads or um, repair in one repair word. Repair the roads. Yeah, yeah, to repair the roads from all countries. They start to do this. Ah, and yeah. they start to pay to people to rise to uh, old people payments. These payments, do you know, for <laughs> pensioners. People who are old. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they start to raise uh, before the ah, election, so you know oh. for sure that uh, election comes. Right. <laughs> Sounds very similar to the Philippines. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Uh, let's talk to Andrew here. Um, quickly, I want to say hi to Zora. Hi, Zora. How are you? Nice of you to join us. Uh, okay. Talk to you later, Andrew. Yeah. You know, to be honest with you guys, uh, yeah. I haven't, uh, I haven't voted at all for my okay. life. You no. didn't, you didn't vote for yeah. Vova. No. <laughs> 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 I, I, I've never voted. I've never. Can I say I've never participated in the election? Or yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that I would know. be correct. I can okay. say that last year they changed the law, and since that time, a president has been elected for five years, but not for, for but not for for four years, as it was before. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and one interesting thing: any um, any commercial on TV uh, which is which is correlated uh, with the election is forbidden a day before the election. Really? That yes. is interesting. Yeah, it, uh, they just give time to people to think uh, to think over uh, what candidate they will. Okay. They will vote. Yeah, it's the same here. And it's named uh, a Day of Silence. Yeah, Andrew. Day yeah, of yeah, Silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, and I'd like to say that any election is just just a show because uh, as for Russian, I, I can't say uh, I can't say about all countries in the world, but mm -hmm. as for Russian, I think uh, the president is uh, is determined in advance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> the president is a deterrent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the one thing before the election. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's very interesting. Yeah, interesting viewpoint. Okay, thanks. Thanks for sharing. Thank oh, Alberto, I have I have not a clue how elections work in Spain. Uh, can you tell me something about it? Is it? Yeah, but uh, it's it's the same that, uh, than in uh, Europe countries. Uh, I see. Uh, you are not. Uh, you have. Uh, you don't have the the obligation to to vote, but uh, but you have to stay in a list and, and then you you vote. Uh, the most curious uh, thing in in Spain about the elections uh, is that. Uh, there are elections uh, every year <laughs> uh, because ah. we have uh, elections for the central government, uh, for the uh, regional governments, uh, for the local council, for the European Union, for the for every right. side. Uh, every four years. Uh, is the election, but uh, but uh, never clash with uh, with others, and then we vote uh, or we have to vote uh, every every year, more or less. Right. Okay. That's it's boring. Actually, it's boring. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, that was definitely a question I, I wanted to ask everybody. Maybe on the next trip around the room. Uh, Sounds similar to Spain. In the United States, you vote for the mayor, the school board, even the dog. 
Oh, yeah, no, in the United States, you vote for the school board, the people who decide decisions about yeah. the school. You vote for the yeah. town selectmen. They, they make very local ordinances or laws or rules, whatever. Uh, for the everybody. sheriff. There are sheriff. elections for yeah. sheriff. Sheriff, yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Same. Yeah, and uh, so there are frequent elections, just like what you're saying. In the United States, you're probably going to, if you voted in every election, you you would be voting every year. No no doubt about it, actually. Um, so similar. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem about this is, is uh, that the politicians uh, have to, to take uh, measures, but they don't because they are frightened about the votes and then uh, they are quiet and and they they don't uh, uh, they don't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I, I'm gonna talk to Zora because I got a feeling things may be very different. Zora, are you are you really here? Can you talk? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I'm here. All right. You kept bouncing in and out. Of the room, I was, didn't know. Uh, Zora, how does it work in China? Do you even have elections? Uh, Do you vote for anyone? I don't know. When talk about uh, elections, uh, it's very embarrassed uh, in China. <laughs> uh, in theory, we should uh, vote uh, to decide a uh, deputy. Deputy. Deputy, deputy, uh, and the deputies should uh, uh, vote to to decide the next uh, president or chairman uh, of the country. But actually, I had never, I have never vote to decide the deputy. And the deputies, uh, before they vote, they already know who is the next chairman. And they just uh, write down the name of the next chairman. Uh huh. It, it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's but, embarrassing. Uh, okay. but actually, I don't think uh, uh, it's so different with America uh, elections. Uh, from my own uh, viewpoints, I think that uh, 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 America. Uh, he can decide uh, uh, who he, which party he uh, supports. Uh, it's just like uh, he can decide the future of the country. But uh, I think it's just, uh, uh, not true. Uh, he just can decide uh, who can hold, uh, who can holds the power. But he can't decide he, how how does the power the leader use the power. Hmm. And uh, as we know, uh, the result is only between the two parties. Yeah, the, Zora. If I, 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 I'm not going to dispute you because I, in a, not entirely, but in a large way, I think you're right. But I, I don't know if you were in class earlier when Juan was speaking about primaries. When each party, the Democratic Party, will have ten different nominees that they will decide who will try to be president. You know, usually you're right; it's only two parties by the time you get to the final vote. The real election is the primaries, actually. That's where they really decide who's gonna be the president or whatever. Um, so. The actual voting, yeah, is relatively meaningless because you usually only have the two parties in America, so it's kind of. Mm -hmm. And even uh, you the choose the president, you still can uh, make a, cannot make uh, some real decision about the future. Yeah, but on the other hand, what I will say is, you know, um, although Alberto and I were joking about it. In the United States, I think there's a lot more control because local level. On a national level, yeah, you're right. You know, there's 
which I can do as a citizen. You're, you're right. But by e being able to choose the sheriff or the school board, I can actually talk to them. They know my name. These are people that I would see in the coffee shop. I can elect them. And I can control rules and laws in my own area. I have a lot Do more... Do you have many candidates? Sheriff? And mayors in the city? <laughs> yeah, mayors and, and when the election, how many candidates of sheriff and of mayor yeah. do, to choose from? Sheriff, maybe three or four. Select, selectmen, which is like the parliament of the town, if you will, oh. there will be 20 different people and you need to elect six or eight, or eight, whatever. I think they're and they have years. different ideas, similar ideas. They have quite different ideas. Often, oh, that's cool. you're gonna have one or two people that are just <laughs> crazy. They're just absolutely nuts, you know. Serious, <laughs> inevitably there are. Literally speaking, well, yeah. Uh, in small, yeah. Uh, in small club or parties, uh, we can vote uh, our favorite leader, and we yeah. can. Uh, we can recommend ourselves uh, as the leader. We, we can make we can make uh, an election, mm, uh, but only in the small small party. In, uh, in okay, you can nominate yourself. Vote for yourself. I nominate me. Um, another interesting thing that happens in the United States, which I have no idea if this happens where you guys are. We have something, this doesn't happen anywhere, everywhere. Some places they have regional meetings. But in, in a lot of places in Vermont, we have something called a town meeting. In a town meeting, which is generally once a year, things like the budget, um, how they're going to spend money? Do they, are they going to buy a bridge or are they going to buy a new playground equipment? Very small localized decisions are actually made by the town. They will have a meeting in the biggest auditorium in the town and you will actually vote. If it seems too close and they can't tell from people just saying yay or nay, then they make it a written vote at the end of the meeting. Yeah, you you know you make your X a ballot vote, like you guys are talking about. So, actually, in a local level, it works very well, in my opinion. In the national level, it's a freaking mess, in my opinion. But you know, <laughs> my problem, Zora with the United States system and, and we'll see I want to see what you guys opinion is. my problem is that big companies give a lot of money. the pharmaceutical companies drug companies give a lot of money to one candidate president or senator or whatever so big business controls who wins because in the end whoever has enough money can advertise get as more exposure publicity usually wins 90% of the time. So in reality the election process is controlled by big business. They're the ones with the money. Um, that's what I just and why I uh, the, that's I heard problem. about that but yeah. I thought it uh, happened in the movie. Is that true? Oh it's true. <laughs> it's true it Worse, actually. Uh, and uh, the the election uh, actually is is the competition of two big uh, companies. <laughs> What's that? Is that a movie? Did you say? Uh, maybe a uh, Prison Break. Have you break? watched this? No, but I think I want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. No, but I would like to. Let me talk to some others about that. Roman. Do Roman, are you still with me? Yes, of course. Yeah. Political candidates, can they take money for their election campaign from people or businesses? Do you know? Yeah. 
So it's very good because we have the same problem and I think uh, um, our political system uh, more much worse than in the United States because we have corruption on the whole level of political system and people in my country try to uh, to um, win on what to avoid criminal uh, criminal uh, convince okay is it, is it clear convince uh, uh crim they try to avoid criminal charges or criminal conviction conviction yes thank yeah. you wow and uh, just uh, people who, uh, who go to uh, to parliament uh, they uh, avoid uh, all criminal uh, responsibilities. Wow. Yes. Charges. 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 Yeah, but he's right. Criminal. Uh, yeah. All criminal charges. You're both right. Criminal charges. Criminal responsibility. My goodness. Is this everywhere, you guys? <sighs> this is, wow. Uh, Juan, what do you? How does it work in Costa Rica? Can do, is there a lot of corruption? Do businesses can businesses contribute money to politicians, businesses or people? Uh, yes, um, sadly we are having a lot of um, scandals, news about uh, corruption in this government. Uh, it's very uh, shameful for me as a citizen, but I have to admit it. Mm. And uh, anyone can can see it in in the news. Um, and uh, yes, and also there's something that I wish we had uh, the system that you mentioned, where where you um, where you can actually meet the person that is going to mm. yeah to be. Because here it is so so uncontrolled or so uh, I don't know uh, we have besides the president um, below him or her there is um, uh, well uh, besides also the vice president there are uh, ministers so they assign a a, a minister. Uh, for let's say culture, agronomical security, okay, ah, those right. those are uh, named by the president. I think that in the in the U.S. is uh, similar. Yes, it is exactly. However, um, then after that we have the Congress. I, I think is the it can be compared to the U.S. Congress, mm -hmm. but for uh, each representative. Of uh, um, of a party in the Congress because Congress is also divided in different parties. Okay. Okay. So uh, those those can be from the same political party of the president. Right. But the thing is that when you go and vote for them uh, at the same time when you vote for the for the president. Unless you done your personal research, or you're a contributor or a big friend of that person, yeah. you have no remote idea who is he or she. <laughs> so you are actually like uh, voting in completely blind, just uh, yeah. assuming that because it is uh, from the party of your election. They yeah. will be right. the same, and that's like the worst part that we have here because they have the they have a lot of um, in inheritance in the they, they're crucial. The, our Congress is crucial for our country because there are things that even the president cannot do. For example, they are the ones who approve. They make motions, and mm -hmm. they approve. Or not, laws 
and I, you know, Juan, I'll tell you a problem with that because it's the same thing in the Philippines. In Philippines, when people vote, they vote on name recognition. Do I recognize that name? So what you have constantly, you have families that the, the two brothers and the father and the son are all senators. Very common here. So, yeah. uh, of course, they work as a family together and they have a big block of votes together. So people just keep voting for the same names. They recognize the name. Oh, okay. He must know what he's doing. He's, <laughs> I don't know. But the, the no, problem with that... I, no, it, it makes a lot of sense uh, because also... Now that you mentioned that we we also had in the in the last uh, governments uh, sons from previous presidents yeah of our country the thing is that they weren't as good as their fathers they were <laughs> a complete mess yeah. and uh, uh, a particular political party that is the one that represents the the government now. Uh -huh. the, um, be, uh, thanks to the media, um, they have um, announced or uh, no, no, the word when, when how do you say when when someone uh, when they uh, when they announce a scandal that they make a public uh, uh. like. Um, Announce. I don't know. Uh, they uh, divulge, unearth. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I'm not thinking of the word. You mean they first find out? Mm -hmm. Is that what you? Okay. Yeah, and uh, all the like a scandal. Mm -hmm. all, all, yeah. all the scandals that, and still people have the notion that. Well, yes, that there is that corruption, but the next one, even though he or she is coming from the from the same party, will be better. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I think that is going to happen here. And well, I don't know if I'm a, a pessimist, a pessimist with uh, with yeah. uh, uh, experience, or but uh, I hope it will be for better. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> but so far, <clears throat> the way this conversation is going, it doesn't look good <laughs> with everybody in all our different countries. We're all from different countries. We're, we all have the same problems. Uh, Igor, is in, in Moldova, are members of parliament, can individuals or, or businesses contribute money? Yeah, usually uh, here we can contribute, and uh, but uh, we have to um, uh, indicate our names and companies that contribute. Yeah, and some yeah. kind of uh, list. I don't know. So people uh, should see these names and to know who who help uh, this party. But uh, what happens? Uh, uh, in real life, so uh, they contribute. Uh, exist people and persons that contribute with, with uh, some kind, uh, some small sums of money, yeah. amount of money, not so big. Um, that uh, because if it would be very big, people uh, press uh, TV will start asking, where did you take this money? How did you make this money? W they would start to dig in that uh, place mm -hmm. uh, to to find out. And what happens that we have kind of uh, very rich people that they um, have a lot of money. I mean, they are kind of oligarchs. Do you know oligarchs? Yeah, oh, I sure do. They, yeah. <laughs> they they have businesses and they have relation with power. Power. So they give a lot of money, but they do not indicate this. They do not say about that. Uh, so and usually uh, this. Uh, Parties, parliament, they work on behalf of that candidate, work for that candidate. I mean, that candidate, uh, that uh, Olga invest money and that party return money back in these four years with some projects, with some corruption, with some, do you Redu know, with some Redu schemes. Taxes, 
maybe suddenly reduce taxes or give uh, it some kind of yeah. It would be great to do uh, so. Yeah, no, it would be okay if they would do this. But what happens? They give, for example, land uh, for very, very small amount of price, uh, a small amount of money. Land, you know, uh -huh. land for buildings. Sure. Uh, or they give place uh, in center of capital. Uh, what uh, it's very expensive that they give for free, basically. Oh wow! So, or, uh, but uh, some schemes, some uh, tricky schemes. So they um, they invest money in their future with uh, people, and uh, so uh, this is kind yeah. of corruption in our country. Exactly. It's not fake. Well, it's very similar. You know, only the details seem to be changing here in all these stories. The details are slightly different, but the idea is very similar if you've got enough money you can buy influence which exactly as Igor said is an investment these oligarchs or these businesses they consider it an investment to give money to an electoral candidate because they're gonna get yeah, something but, back right but uh, usually what uh, happens in your country in the United States you have uh, factories, you have businesses uh, as Google, I don't know, some kind of business, some kind of factories that produce something. But in our country, these oligarchs, they nothing uh, uh, build businesses. They only know how to s buy and sell something, some land to sell, some business uh, to build a, a store, for example, or a supermarket to make money after that to sell to another businessman, yeah. kind of these things. Well, cons they don't know how to do anything, but consider this, Igor. Consider that in very recent American history, we bailed out the financial district who buy and sell nothing. <laughs> they buy and sell interest rates and conversions of money. They don't make anything, and we just had to bail them out for, what, $780 billion? Do you mean what? Uh, who, what uh, bank no, system or what? Wall, yeah, Wall Street. Um, oh, okay, okay. AIG, Goldman Sachs, uh, also the the Freddie Mac and um, the mortgage yeah, yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. investment that? firms. But uh, you have uh, among these immense firms, you have companies that produce something, uh, as uh, General Motors. Uh, you have these companies, but we do not have so much companies like that. So yeah. this is the difference. Well, the believe me, well, it made a big difference to me when they bailed out the automobile industry and when they bailed out AIG. AIG doesn't produce anything. Neither oh, okay. does Goldman Sachs. They produce nothing. I, I, it made me irate. It made me angry. <laughs> but believe me, there's a lot of money from Wall Street pouring directly into Washington believe me a lot of money and they and they get their money back they just got bailed out 780 billion dollars a few years ago unbelievable um, okay Alberto yes um, okay you're you I see some of your comments anyway but uh, how about in in Spain, is there corruption, election corruption? Do people, can companies yeah. and individuals give politicians money, supposedly, for election? There are corruption everywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And, and it's, uh, it caused uh, a deep crisis in the in the in the system because the uh, the people uh, don't uh, don't believe in it and it's uh, dangerous it's really dangerous uh, there is uh, there is not uh, a, a fascist party in, in Spain but uh, it's it's uh, a real danger because uh, there are in, in in other countries in Europe, and uh, when a fascist party, for example, is is uh, in the in the elections or or has uh, the power, uh, you see you you 
you know what happened um, and it's it's really sad uh, the journalists uh, cover the politicians the politicians uh, cover the the builders uh, <laughs> and, and it's, <laughs> it's a mess it is a mess uh, yeah yeah and uh, yeah. yeah. What what you what you uh, what you said about the the families in the Philippines is the same in Spain. Uh, really? Yeah. And the politicians. Uh, well, you you know, um, uh, forty years ago, uh, Spain was a dictature uh, by Franco. Yeah. Uh, of course. People. Uh, the people um, was uh, was funny when when Franco died. Uh, um, there are many um, well many fun fun people uh, in the streets and and they vote and yeah. and uh, it could be a uh, uh, real democracy, but. Um, Politicians uh, were um, were uh, good professionals uh, 40 years ago, <laughs> but uh, now the uh, the lazy people who who don't uh, work uh, because uh, they they don't study and they they're lazy. Well, become politicians and they <laughs> they go up. In the party, and they they present to the to the election, and they win, <laughs> even. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. Well, that was a depressing class. <laughs> yeah. <sure>. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we, we heard from what six or seven different countries, and it, it, it's not. <laughs> there's no good news anywhere. My goodness. <laughs> wow. But, okay. but there are, there are uh, there are some mov movement uh, like uh, 15M in Spain and and yeah, in, true in Europe, do you know? And you're right. You're right. Well, Hopefully, there's hope for us. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, guys. Um, thank you very much. I got to close the class now because I got another verbaling class. Next class, TOEFL. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewers. Gotta go now, my.